tell you a dead time story. Now I lay me down to rest, but there's a goblin upon my chest. He's gray and ugly and very gory, and he wants to tell me a dead time story. I see you have your popcorn ready, so if you go out in the woods today, you better not go alone. Hey, what's up, everybody? As you can see by that introduction, uh, my gone but not forgotten movie review is Dead Time Story uh, with George Romero. Uh, there were three stories to this. The first one, as you can see, is called Valley of the Shadow. Um, I'm not going to go too much into each one. The whole thing ran about an hour and 17 minutes. Um, so the first one, uh, the main character is woman, her husband, uh, had disappeared, and so she wanted to go out this expedition saying that she'd earned this guy money. Um, I guess I, I was kind of confused on it when they were out in the woods. There was like some weird fruit or something, but there was like a tribe out there of like cannibalistic killers. Um, the acting was so so, I mean, it wasn't the greatest, but um, there were a couple really good scenes. Um, of the heads that were hung up when they went up river and it was just like as a warning for them to go back um a dart went through one of the guy's cheeks as they're like running off through the woods and everything or the jungle i'm sorry not the woods and um so they're just being hunted down uh one by one um they may or may not survive as usual you have to watch to find out i don't like to spoil things too much uh, I had an interesting little ending, uh, <laughs> might get some heads rolling or confused, <laughs> head spinning, no, ah, nah, ignore that, but anyway, uh, yeah, that wasn't too much of a clever pun, but yeah, so then the next story was called Wet, uh, basically it was about, uh, a mermaid, uh, so Legends of a Mermaid, this guy, he was finding these boxes of jade, and there were body parts in them. And he was taking them out and getting rid of them. Uh, one of them, there was a hand inside. And when he tried to take it to the uh, pawn shop or antique store, uh, not the body parts, obviously, uh, he had thrown those aside, just the boxes. The guy who worked there told Jack that um, he had asked what was inside. Was it a body part? And he didn't really want to say anything. And he's all like, don't worry, I didn't kill anybody. Um, and he tells them about legends of how mermaids can be brought, um, I forget what kind of box they said it was called. Um, it, it had a weird term, but basically what it was, if they were put back together, it would bring back the mermaid and not all of them were good. So, of course, he ignores it and he digs up the rest of the boxes that he finds and the body parts come together and comes back to life and so as he's laying down the night um you see like a kind of a creature crawling in with a thin ugly face uh, of a woman uh fish face and fangs kind of like uh kind of like a mutant mermaid i guess you could say not your normal ariel or beautiful mermaid or anything like that and it's crawling through the window and he's in bed and he thinks he hears something he gets up of course and sees like a trail of like wetness that where the creature had crawled through um and he ends up just going back to bed laying down and as he starts to fall back asleep you see the sheet something's crawling like up his legs and you see like a head come up and it's a beautiful woman at first and he's kind of intrigued by it until she changes and he sees the true form and he and she like bites his leg almost half off. He's crawling to the bathroom trying to escape. And she does something to him. Uh, there's a little twist to it. Um, as Arrow would say, she wants to be part of that world. She sort of brought him into her world. Um, but there's a twist to it. And to find out, you'll have to watch. And then the third one was called House Calls. Um, I forget what year it was. It might have been like 1900s, uh, something along, early 1900s, along those lines. And the kid, um, the son of, was like saying how he was changing and like he 
was being held down and his mom was thinking he was crazy and the doctor was testing his blood and she didn't know what was going on health wise and he was threatening how dangerous he was and she's telling the doctor what's wrong she's worried about him how he's telling stories of like uh drinking the blood of people in the village and hikers and not knowing what's going on and the doctor suggests like he's not the one to talk to about this that he might need a psychiatrist and she's worried about him being crazy and she's telling more of the stories how he and one of the neighbors or someone who lived nearby in that town or whatever the girl had gotten sick and he said that he had broken into her house at night and drained a little bit of her blood and so the doctor's listening to this and uh he sort of knows after hearing all these stories he finds out that uh maybe it's not so crazy what's going on because he knows a little of something about vampires as well um so that's it and if you want to know what all happens um definitely check out these stories if you get a chance um dead time stories and uh thanks for uh checking this out and hopefully you'll participate and next fri Friday, which is going to be, as I already did a video, uh, it's your year. And that's it. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that bell for notifications, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.